What's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome to the Anderson Family Channel. You know who I am, Mr. Valentino. And you know who my wife is. It's that beautiful lady that be making those videos. Her name is Miss Angel Baby. And today's video, I'm going to talk about specifically about her. Now, I know for the last couple of days, y'all been watching my wife do videos about her past. And uh, some of the things that you heard on those videos, I know to some of you guys, was probably disheartening. It was really hard to hear. And you guys are probably thinking, wow, I can't even fathom something like that happening to anybody. But um, I'm going to give you a little insight on our lives, me and my wife's. I'm going to go back from the time that we met. Now, I'm going to let you know, I don't know exactly what happened in the beginning. I wasn't there but I'm going to show you exactly what I knew or what I felt when me and her, me and her first started going together so in our relationship I remember the first day I met her she was so happy you know she had a good spirit you know she, she just she looked like she just looked like she had a lot of life in her she seemed like she wanted to enjoy it. And um, yeah, we were having fun. We were enjoying ourselves. Just having a good time. And then um, as the time went on, um, I noticed that there was things that was going on with her. And I just, I didn't, I didn't realize that there was so many deep demons inside of her at the time. But um, there was times where she used to go to sleep and she'd wake up in the middle of the night and she'd be crying, she'd be sweating. And I'd look at her and I'd say, hey, what's wrong? And she's like, I don't know. So I think at that time, she didn't want to tell me what was really going on because I think what was going on with her is that in our relationship, she really loved me. You know what I'm saying? She really, really cared about me and she was afraid to lose me. So she felt like if she told me her life story, and she told me what was going on in her past, she thought that I would look at that in a bad way. But I really wanted her to give me a chance. You know, talk to me, tell me what's going on. But like I said, as the relationship kept going, I would still see issues that she was having. And this one particular day, I knew that there was something that was really, really wrong. Um. I remember I went to work one day and um, I came home and there were times when I would go to work and I would come home and we would talk for hours. I mean, I would go to work at like 7 o'clock in the morning, I would get off at like 3.30 and from 3.30 to about 9 o'clock, I talked my ass off to her. I mean, I told her how my day was. I would just conversate with her all day, and she enjoyed it. She enjoyed it. And then, again, like I said, those demons that was inside of her, you can see them starting to creep out. But again, I still didn't know what was going on with her. But um, there was this one particular day I came home from work, and as I opened the door and I came in, she jumped out of bed. And I said, what's wrong? And she goes, oh, I'll, 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 I'll clean the house. I'll clean the house. And I said, what's, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Angel, I said, why are you acting like that? And she's like, oh, no, no, no. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. I'll, I'll clean up the house. I'll clean up the house. And I, I said, Angel, why are you acting like that? And I think Angel realized that that day, I got to talk to him about my life. I got to talk to him. Now, just like you guys. When she talked to me about her past, I'm just like you guys. I couldn't believe that the things that she was telling me, I couldn't believe it happened. You know, I mean, it, it was hard to believe. But like I said, a lot of those things that you heard Angel talk about, she told me. And I looked at it like, wow, are you serious? I mean, your, your mother actually did these things to you? And for her mom to come on there and say that she's lying about these things, the one thing that I want to tell you, Lolita, 
is I'm not the type of person that's going to sit there and call somebody a liar. Okay, I'm not going to call nobody a liar. Your truth is your truth. Your lie is your lie. But the fact of it is, is that Angel, when she talked to me, she just didn't look at me and tell me what happened. She talked through me. You understand what I'm saying? She talked through me. Okay, she sat me down and she started from beginning to end. And I think that this, this conversation lasted for about three hours. I mean, she told me everything. And I, <laughs> it, it, was, it was terrible. It was terrible. Now, again, I didn't know her mom. But the things that she told me about her mom, I, I was like, wow. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I really would like to meet her. I really would like to meet her because I want to know why. <laughs> you know what I mean? I want to know why. But the fact that her mom comes on and she laughs about her situation and she tells everybody on social media that she thinks that her daughter's lying and she thinks it's funny. I'm here to tell you, Lolita, there's nothing funny about it. There is nothing funny about it. Oh boy. Yeah, but it, it, it was hard. It was hard. Okay. I, um, I dealt with this for a long time, for a long time, and um, it was hard. It was hard on, on, on both of us because uh, she was just dealing with so much, and I knew that I'm not a counselor, I'm not a psychiatrist. I mean, what what, what am I gonna do? You know, I, I'm just your your boyfriend. You know, I. But. I realized that day I wasn't going nowhere. Yep. Uh. Yeah, I um It was hard. It was hard. But um I I, I realized that I wasn't going nowhere. And um I didn't know any of her family, you know, um, I didn't know them at the time, but um, as our relationship kept going, I got to know some of her family, and um, you know, some of the things that she was telling me, it, it, it was hard, it was hard, and um, I seen that a lot of people was abandoning her, you know, they, they, they just didn't want to have anything to work, and um, I felt like I wasn't going to be that person. I wasn't going to do that. I wasn't going to abandon her. I was going to stick with her and I was going to fight with her to try to fix this problem. And we've been together for 17 years, all together. And uh, we've been married 13. And um, we have four beautiful kids. And uh, we've been together for a lot. I mean, we're, we're, we're like a rock together, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I've been there for it. And um, Lolita, I just want to tell you that this little girl that you knew back then, this little girl that you hurt back then, she's not that person anymore. She was, she was destroyed then. But she's good. She's real good now. She is good. And um, for you to sit there and say that um, I can't understand that you would let your wife come on social media and talk about me like this. Uh, your daughter's a grown woman. She is a grown woman. Okay? We have a channel, and what she says on that channel, that is her business, okay? She was telling her truth. She was talking about her life. And if you were any kind of mother, if you were any kind of mother, if you were any kind of human being, 
you would look at that and you would say, you know what? I want to be part of the solution. I want to be part of trying to fix this situation. Instead of being the person to try to keep trying to hurt it. Now, like I told you, I feel like you were wrong by saying the things that you said about her. And um, I'm coming to my wife's defense. I'm coming to her defense and I want to let the world know that my wife is a beautiful person. She's a very kind person. And she's a strong person. So I want everybody to know that. I want everybody to know that. And um, we're going to be together. We're going to be together no matter what. So you can keep trying to push. You can keep trying to pull. You can keep trying to do whatever you want. We're going to be together. Okay? We're going to be together. And um, like I said, I love her. You know, I love her. And um, yeah, we're going to make it. We're going to make it. You know what I'm saying? I promise you that. I promise you that. We're going to make it. And um, I just want you to know, Lolita, thank you. Thank you for making this beautiful girl. Okay? Thank you for doing that. Because if it wasn't for you, she wouldn't be with me. You know what I'm saying? So thank you. Thank you. I would not have found that. I would not have found that beautiful girl. And like I said, that beautiful girl turned into a wonderful, beautiful woman. So I'm going to end this video. And I'm going to let everybody know that the Anderson family is strong. And we're going to make it. That's for now. Peace out.